गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज अ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी ओके सो लेट मी डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी देन आई विल टेक फ्यू एग्जांपल्स फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू रीड द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अ रिलेशन आर मींस दे हैव गिवन सम टेबल व्हिच इज नेम ऑफ द टेबल इज आर a set of attributes x means a set of attributes it can be a single attribute or more than one attribute in relation r is said to be functionally determined on another set of attributes y also in relation r means this is a set of attributes in relation r is said to be functionally determined another set of attributes y which are also in the relation r if and only if each x value in r is associated with only one value in y y in relation r why how we can say that now we can mathematically represent it as x determines y like this if you see that x can be a set of attributes or it can be a single attribute from the relation r and y is also can be a single attribute or it can be a, a set of attributes when i can write it as x functional determines y for a value of x if you get give, give me a single value then we can say that x is functional determines y suppose let's me tell take a small example i have some attributes like a1 a2 a3 okay some attributes are there in a relation okay which values a1 is having value 1 2 3 then 1 okay a2 is having small a b c d okay this is having some e f g h now we will see what are the functional dependencies are possible let me take only a single bad attribute only okay now let's take that can i write a1 functionally determines a2 or not we will check if you see that here the value a1 is 1 that time a2 is saying that a small a here if you see that for the same value 1 it is giving me another value d so one place it is writing that one is representing a and another side it is saying that on one you take the value d so i can say that they are not functionally determined okay because it is an inconsistent data here it is saying that on one it is a small a here it is saying on one it is giving me another value called b so a a1 is not functionally determined a2 okay are you able to understand now let me take another one we will check whether a1 can functionally determine a3 or not if you see that on one it is giving me e on one it is giving me h so i can say that even a1 is not functional determined a3 but for two it is giving f for three it is giving g but still on one it is giving e on the same one it is giving h so i can say that a1 is not functional determines a3 we will see other one can i write a1 is functional determines a2 and a3 we will check it now for one it is giving a e okay so it is not and here one it is giving d h so here also i can say that a1 is not functionally determines a2 and a3 so when we can say let me take another example small example for you to understand when i can say that x is functionally determines y i have taken a1 a2 some a3 1 a 1 a 2 b 3 c okay here i am taking e e f g if you see this in this case a1 i will check whether a1 is function determines a2 or not if you see on one it is giving me a here also on one it is giving me a for two it is giving b for three it is giving c so if i can give the value i can get a unique value suppose if i see if i am giving one i am getting the response as a if i am giving two i am getting the output as b if i am getting three i can find the value as c so i can write it as a1 is functionally determines y okay oh, sorry not y a1 function determines a2 so i hope you have understood what is meant by a functional dependency and how to check whether it is functional determines or not okay thank you so much